Now, I do understand your frustrations. I mean, I've been there. Let me tell you my uh, story. Fifteen years ago, I had dreams and hopes, very, very big hopes and very big dreams. I was in full-time employment, I was living on my own, and I began to start to study. I began to read a whole range of books that focused on raising my level of awareness, and everything changed. A hobby in music suddenly became a career. I was writing with people all over the world, as having songs released. Uh, a book that was uh, taking a long time to finish suddenly began to take shape and is now sought after and is soon to be published. I began to make great friends all around the world. I began to even speak about self-development in other countries. I even started my own life coaching business. And now everything is different and it can be the same for you. Michelangelo used to, always used to say that when he used to think about carving a statue, he never thought about actually putting the statue there. A statue was trapped inside a large piece of rock. He used to say he was going to release it. And it's the same with your dreams. They need releasing. So you see, it's all about bringing what you've got inside you and making it appear on the outside world. I absolutely love this quote by Thomas Truard, an absolutely incredible author who wrote some of the masterpieces of self-development in the early 1900s. And he said, you cannot contract the infinite but you can expand the individual. The idea being that everything that you need or want or require is within you and it has to come out. And we are infinite spiritual beings. But let's get back to your problems now, your dilemma if you like now, because you see, we're living in quite challenging times and our dilemma at the moment really is broken down into these points here. First of all, we're living in a world where technology is taking over. The idea of meeting a real person and actually connecting is becoming more and more difficult. A lot of us are living in fear. That idea of being trapped and not being able to escape from a situation, that monopolises a lot of people's lives. The idea that time is actually becoming more and more important to us, even more important for us to achieve our dreams. Time just seems to be eaten away by jobs, by family and by commitments. We're taught in school and all the way through life to chase for our dreams, to chase for those things that we require most. But I'm going to introduce you to a radical different way of looking at a way of fulfilling those dreams. The banks and the financial situation, we're really requiring a way of thinking for ourselves to be a bit more bold, if you like. It goes on. There's extreme scepticism and we're looking for integrity out there in the real world. Purpose. People are trying to find a way of finding a life's purpose that doesn't just feature around money. An ability to be able to share and connect with everybody else. There's that itch that some of us feel for more. I'm halfway there, but how do I finish the rest of that journey? And I want to do something different alongside the job. And finally, focus and that feeling of being disconnected somehow. All of these dilemmas are facing us in these challenging but exciting times. But you see, if we break down our needs, we can discover that our physical, our security, our self-esteem and our social needs can all be catered for by money. But the one area that money won't buy is that realisation of self, that ability to grow and raise that level of awareness.